Location of pain is really important. Your insertional Achilles will be um, at the top of the calcaneus, usually middle to lateral, whereas your mid Achilles will be right in the middle of the tendon. Okay, so they're quite easy to differentiate those two. Your plantaris associated one tends to be a little bit higher than your mid Achilles and often on the inside. So it will be just um, perhaps another centimetre or two further up and, and towards the inside. It can be across the tendon, <clears throat> but classically it's towards the inside. Your peritendon will be a little bit more distributed, so it won't be in one particular spot. It will tend to be a little bit more diffuse. But the, cre the key thing is what load created the pain in the first place. Okay, So your peritendon will be caused by too much movement and not much load. So it will be using ankle dorsiflexion or plantar flexion that creates the friction load. So going back to that history that we talked about, what was the load that created the problem? It will be the friction loads that create the problem. Um, and so you will, they will talk about, um, you know, swimming a lot. So they're doing this with their foot or riding a bike um, where there's not much tendon load, but a lot of movement. So that will be your peritendon. Your insertion will be more about dorsiflexion. So doing a lot of pushing off um, where you're compressing the tendon. Remembering dorsi, um, sorry, insertional tendon is often a manifestation of systemic disease, so autoimmune type of condition. So your arthropathies, um, such as your psoriatic arthropathies, um, you know, gut-related um, arthropathies. So you have to always be a bit careful around those, but it'll be about too much dorsiflexion, energy storage and release in dorsiflexion. So that'll be the provocative load. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, the plantaris associated one's a bit more difficult because that's a sort of anatomical thing. It can be about too much movement. It can be about too much load. You have to have pretty good diagnostic skills to pick that one up. Um, so that can be a little bit more difficult to, to pick up.